Hey, it's Tom. I'm back with another boat build from scratch. This time it's going to be a 12 to 13 foot by 52 inch wide bottom. I like a buoyant, wide, stable, comfortable boat. That's what we're going for here. If you remember, we'll take a look at it in just a second here. The last boat I built was a 13 by 48. So 13 foot long, 48 inch bottom, all out of eighth inch aluminum. Overbuilt, it's an army tank of a boat too heavy i got a new 25 that's not new but new to me uh 25 jet so it's a four stroke it's heavy doesn't have a lot of torque uh but it'll let me run shallow the problem is it's too slow on that 1348 this is just built from scratch hand cut uh that's how i how i'm building boats so let's look at the last boat i built and then i'll talk you through the materials uh that i'm using and how we're going to start this boat and then i'm gonna get to welding so here is that 13 with a 48 bottom uh, just mostly MIG welded, so that'll be a big difference instead of seeing these MIG welds. We're gonna TIG weld stuff like this. Anything, ideally, anything you see on the surface will be TIG welded this time, as I've gotten a lot better TIG welding. This boat was a tunnel hull, which did not work well. Cavitated a lot, kind of kept me going slower, but I did close the tunnel, welded that shut, put the jet on it, and with just me and the dog in here, it was okay but it's just, it's too overbuilt of a boat. So I'm gonna make a lighter version, uh, still nice and wide, still nice and stable, but I'm hoping with two guys, it'll get me up the small rivers in a hurry and be a fun little boat too. So here's what I did. I went down, this big pallet here has my stuff for the next couple boats I'm building when I get time, uh, 18 footer, 16 footer, and 15 footer, duck boats and uh, river boats. But I got this, it's, it came in 60 inch wide by eight foot long. So five by eight sheets of 100 thousandths, 5052 aluminum. And it had the peel plastic on it. It's a bugger to get off by the way. Uh, but we got the brand new sheets essentially. They were just an overstock thing. I think they cost me like 150 bucks a piece. So pretty cheap for 100 thousandths, 5052 aluminum and the only thing I'm gonna have to do on this boat is we are gonna have to lap joint. I would love to work with just one sheet of 14 foot, but not easy to find, not cheap. So these were kind of like discounted sheets at a, it's called Rescued Metals and they do overstock, they do some blemish stuff, but these are brand new sheets of plastic. But what I'm gonna have to do to make my 13 foot boat is I'm gonna take one sheet, 52 inches wide by eight foot long, and then we're gonna go ahead, the front sheet is gonna be a lap joint. The last one I butt jointed my sheets. I did not like how that works. The heat warp and everything was just messy. I ended up covering the outsides of the welds of that butt joint with some sheeting, which just doesn't look great. It lets you know it was a, a seamed boat. So we're gonna go back of the boat here. We're gonna overlap so that weld is protected on the bottom side, and then we'll pull up the front. That's how I'm building this. I gotta first put together some 12 foot two buys, build myself a little platform jig so we can lift things up, uh, work on it a lot more comfortably, have a nice flat surface to work on and potentially even level off of it if we need to. I got my 12 foot long jig set up, supported. This way everything's flat and I can work higher and if i need to i can slide the forklift under pick it up stack some more so i can be standing whatever i need to do this is the goal is to make this to make my job a lot easier and hopefully i can use it on other boats in the future let's talk about welding machines we're all aluminum here these are both 100 percent argon titanium welders you get these at harbor freight they're uh maybe by the time you get everything you need for them you're you know, 800 to 1,000 a piece. This is my MIG 170. It runs on that 150 amp spool gun. Seems to work pretty darn well. And then this is my TIG 200. So this actually has been working awesome. I uh, haven't really had any trouble with it. I did have to replace the torch because I was welding some quarter inch stuff, maxing it out and the torch kind of melted, but replaced it with a Vulcan torch. Fits right up to the connection and that's been great even on hot stuff i finally got a 220 plug on the wall so real excited about that 
duty cycle is exponentially higher and I can really get into it. On this project, everything's gonna be turned down pretty low because it's hundred thousandths, but that's my welding setup. Uh, settings, unless you're using these exact same machines, your settings don't matter. I can't control anything more than wire feed, speed, uh, and my voltage on this one. And this one, I can only control my amperage. So I can't even control my post flow, can't control anything. It's just a classic, easy to get into TIG machine, but it does a great job. So that's what I'm welding with. Now, let's get some sheet on here and get welding. My first job is getting these two bottom sheets joined. Uh, it's gonna be a lap joint on each side. So we get basically two welds holding it together. So I'm gonna tack it together, just not put a ton of heat in it. And then we'll flip it over, do the same on the other side. I'm gonna wait to full weld the bottom until my stringers are all in. So that's a big thing I messed up on my first boat. I was just hammering heat into certain spots and it got all warpy goofy. And that's no fun so we're gonna be a little more careful on this build a lot more careful and i'm gonna jump around to where i'm putting heat and try to keep this thing as square as possible we're gonna add some uh just straightening bars too we'll tack some stuff on to keep it rigid so it can't pull and warp when we're doing the transom and some other stuff side walls that sort of thing There we are, day one. A few goof ups and stuff, typical, but uh, getting it together. One of those big mistakes I made when I built the first boat was not enough transom angle. That's about 15 degrees. They say anywhere from, I think, about 12 to 19 is normal. So we're kind of in the middle on that. That's all tacked in. Our stringers are tacked in. Trying to do more just tacking. This is a little bulkhead that will be the start of a step front deck will come up and we will be cutting some of that excess off to make it the right length and size that's day one more to come as i get time My sketchers got wet. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right in the water. Oh man. <laughs> Turns out we got one little teeny leak, and when you look at it, it's so plain as day. We'll get that fixed up in no time. Otherwise, it was bone dry. Okay, so I haven't been able to film as much as I wanted to on this project. It's like. I get a couple hours here and there to get in and weld and I just 
forget or don't take the time to set up the camera and time lapse. So I'm gonna walk you through where we're at. We're here on a Sunday. I got a couple hours here to just try to get the outside of the boat done so we can flip it and then start working on the inside. Let's take a look. So the outside of this boat is 100% TIG welded on the seams, the transom and the bottom. That will remain, but we're gonna cover this with a chine, just a piece of angle aluminum. We gotta weld that. That's one of the big projects today. Get the outside chines on. And then I've just got some cleaning up to do. Really just some welds up front here. So I've gotta get the rest of this weld in here. Here, we'll just continue along with the TIG. This is MIGged, that's fine. You're never gonna really see much of that. So I'm not really too concerned with that. And then I'm gonna pretty these up, just little runners that we've got on the bottom, help it track and it gives it some stability. So that's what we gotta do. And then I am gonna just stitch weld, TIG style along, just a few stitches just to hold everything in place. Let's get to work on this today so we can get it wrapped up, flip it over, and then hopefully on the water in the next week or two. outside of the boat is welded so we're back to flipped over which means it's time to put the finishing stuff in i've got to just stitch in this outside it's just a piece of angle that i had bent to match the same height as my stringers so what that'll let me do is run my floor all the way to the sidewall no gap cleaner more stable so that's gonna get done real quick here the other thing i need to do today is I need to build my back structure. So it's gonna be a bench essentially that covers for a uh, gas tank and battery. And then up front, I put in this bar here, big piece of C channel. So I need to weld on my supports that are gonna go and create this front deck structure. Back from powder coat, white, clean. Let's get a motor on this. Before. I never ran this. 
this, oh. this boat or on this boat, but on the other boat, I can barely get 15 with this motor. I'm pretty happy with that. Got the engine height, I think pretty darn ideal there. Uh, it wanted to cavitate just a little bit on acceleration, so maybe put some fins on it, that might help. But otherwise, that test run was pretty awesome. It was just the battery and the gas tank in the back. My brother-in-law in the front, he weighs about 170 pounds. So once we get the floor in, the front deck, a battery up front, the anchor on the front, hopefully that'll help because pretty much wanted to just boat wheelie when it was just me so that's the scoop i'm really happy we hit 26 mile an hour with the two of us in the boat now it's time to get everything finished inside the floors the hatches in the back carpet and the tackle trays front deck anchor winch and trolling motor it's coming along though